Hey guys, it's Jay. So, um, I'm not even gonna like go deep into this. Y'all already know what the fuck I'm about to talk about. And excuse my language, but I honestly don't give a fuck at this point. Like, I'm gonna just say what I want to say and just be done with it. Um, if you don't like it, then that's fine, but that's just how I am. But, um, you know, everyone's talking about Menzi leaving 21. Um, I heard about her, you know, there's a rumor that she was looking for other agencies. So I'm like, I, I didn't really think much of it. But then hearing that YG was making a press conference, I'm like, oh shit. Because why do you don't just make random ass press conferences? Like, if he's doing it, shit's going down. And I honestly thought that he was going to say that the group completely disbanded. But he just announced that she left the group. So, 21 is still 21 is just 3. So, you know what I'm saying? It's a trio now. So, the group isn't completely over. But, yeah, it's just a trio now. Um, according to the statement, they're supposed to have a song in the summer. We'll see. I mean, honestly, with YG, it's more like we'll see... Or I'll see it when I believe it because you already know this motherfucker can't read a map, tell time, or read a goddamn calendar. So it's like when he feel basically when he fucking feels like it. Um, I'm not mad at her or the other members. I don't blame Minzy for leaving. Like real shit. I felt like, in my opinion, I feel like she gets she's gotten tired of sitting in the background, sitting and waiting. And waiting and waiting and getting nothing. Like, we fans, like, not even just fans of 21, but just, you know, people that like them. They don't have to be stands, but people that like 21 and be like, where's Menzi Solo? Where's Menzi Solo? We've been saying this shit for years. Like, I obviously, I wasn't there from the very beginning. Like, I got into 21 in 2012. So it was like, what, four years? I've been riding with these girls. And I've always said, where the fuck is her solo? nothing yes you know bombs had two singles dara had a single cl's had two singles or three if you i mean well mental breakdown wasn't really considered a single but still like she's had releases and stuff but it's just i feel like why she definitely slept on her talent and especially like was it last year i think it was like last year i don't know if it was like vine or Instagram where she had posted that song she like that you know produced herself so the girl got talent and she's making her own music I don't it just felt like he just like it was just wasted talent for him and I don't understand why it's like why couldn't they do like Taman it's like you know what I'm saying when Taman came with a solo I was really happy because back in the day Taman was only just viewed as the dancer like, he honestly, like, listening to, like, their earlier shit, Taman barely got lines. He was just the dancer. He was just the cute machne that danced really well. That was it. That was it. So when he had his solo, I'm like, about fucking time. And, you know, listening to Ace and Press It, you can, you know what I'm saying? He can stand on his own. I just don't understand why he couldn't why why you couldn't do the same for Minzy? i honestly feel that like Taman and Minzy are like in the same fucking boat like they can do well in their groups and they can do well as solo artists hands down and then it's like with Minzy, there aren't any solo artists in k-pop that do what Minzy does like if she was a solo artist you already know she's gonna give you dancing she's gonna give you singing ain't nobody doing that shit yeah you have female solo artists that sing but they're not dancing like Minzy like I consider like Minzy like Sierra you know what I'm saying like Sierra she may not be like the greatest singer but you know she's gonna fucking kill it with a performance you already know that that's Minzy like so that so you wouldn't have anyone in that lane where it would just be her so no one would be able to compare Minzy is someone else. Like, what, what, Boa? Maybe. But still, even with that, like, SM severely slept on Boa's 
last album, which still made me mad. The fact that she was what had two weeks, and then Shiny came back. Like word, I right. that still made me mad. But still, it's like I just felt like. Not even like I didn't even want a fucking mini album, just a single, something, something to showcase her talent, and we didn't get anything. And it's really unfortunate because she's a very talented woman. She's very talented. Like you don't have to be a stan to realize that girl got crazy talent. And I'm really hoping that now that she's leaving YG and whether the company is a major company whether it's a smaller company, if she even if she decides to do music, because she can just say fuck the industry and just be a normal person. But if she continues to do music, I'm hoping that the company that she goes to really takes advantage of her talent. Because she definitely has a lot to give. I really think that she would be a force to be reckoned with as a solo artist. That's just me. Um... Let's see. 21 is a trio. I don't know. I don't know. The thing with 21 that set them apart from other girl groups is that they were a rare gem. Like, of course, you, you either have girl groups that are, like, really cute or, you know, not overly sexual, but, like, sexy groups. You know, you know something like, like you know, like, Nine Muses that's like done sexy concepts and like Stellar um, Secret has done kind of like sexy concepts and stuff like that but 21 was in the middle it's like they didn't really they didn't weren't really both like personality wise they were really cute fun girls and yes they were like I feel like they're beautiful women so but honestly like, they weren't considered the typical you know, image of beauty, because, you know, people have talked about their, at least CL's appearance, like, they talked about her appearance, and I, it's, to this day, it still pisses me off that YG had the balls to go to CL and tell her she's ugly. Had that been me, Jay would have been kicked out of fucking YG, because I would have clocked him dead in the fucking face, like, you don't say that to nobody. Like, that's how you talk to your artist, though. That's, that's what's popping? Okay. That still makes me mad. Like, you don't say that shit to people. And, like, recently, I think she did, like, an interview where she said she doesn't see herself as pretty or beautiful or anything. I'm like, for real. But, I mean, even with that, you know, comes Ugly. The song Ugly, which is, like, one of their biggest songs. So, I don't, I don't know. It's just... This whole thing is just irritating to me. I'm like I said, I'm not mad at the girls. My beef is with YG because he just let them slip through the cracks. I understand that the whole situation with Bomb was really bad and it was real serious to where they couldn't do shit. I get it because every you know what I'm saying. I'm, like people want to compare Big Bang and Twenty One. Yes, Big Bang has been through some shit. But, I'm not sure how, if they just let 21 soldier on through the scandal, how it will work for them. I don't know. It's like, yeah, Day sung has been through some shit, sung has been through some shit, GD especially has been through some shit over the years. And luckily they've been able to bounce back, but I don't know had YG was like, I... Yes, you're going through scandal, but we're still going to keep going. I don't know if it would have worked or just made it worse. I don't know. So I understand that they took a break. They, they just stopped promotions. It was unfortunate. You know, it. I don't like watching the last time 21 was on Guy of De June 2014. I don't like watching that because it's it's hard to watch. Just to see the three, Menzi, Seal, and Dara on stage performing, you know, Crush and Come Back Home. And then, it's, but at the same time, you looking at them and they had like this fire in their eyes. Like they look genuinely mad that Bomb could not be on there with them. You can tell. And it's just, it was just weird. So just seeing three of them 
without Bomb, it's gonna be weird without Minzy. Like, real shit. I don't know how this shit's gonna work, but I know, honestly, if this shit don't work as a trio, 21's a wrap. And I really don't wanna say that, but I'm being completely honest. So, even if they actually release this fucking song, which I highly doubt because CL hasn't even released her album yet. And she's been working on this shit since, what, 2014? I don't know. They keep saying it's around the corner. It's around the corner. Like, I will believe it when I see fucking teaser pictures. When I see fucking the shit on iTunes, that's when I fucking believe it. But until then, to me, it's still in, it's still being worked on. So, but so, instead of trying to tell people, yeah, Minzy left, but we're giving y'all a comeback. That, that's not going to make us feel better. The fuck is that? So... I, I, don't, I really don't know. I'm really hoping that this works out because I really don't want the group to be completely over because I'll be really upset because I don't talk about them a lot on my channel. But the fact that they were the girl group that got me into K-pop was them. Yes, you know, you can say Super Junior and Girls Generation but it was just them that really grabbed my attention, my attention, and really brought me into this K-pop life. It's about the only, I still have my crush poster, see? You know what I'm saying? Like that, I still have it on my wall. Like I never took it down since I bought that album. So that's been on my wall since I bought the album. So, uh, it's, it's just, I don't know. Um, I got a couple more minutes left, so. Uh, YG, I, I was watching Charlotte the 60s video about it, and she was saying, like, you know, she wants YG to experience, like, an epic failure. Honestly, I feel like getting something like that will wake him the fuck up and realize he needs to change his ways, because... What the fuck's gonna happen with YG once Big Bang starts going to the military? Cause you can't be doing this shit and just only thinking that Icon and Winner and Lee High Optimal Musician is gonna hold the fort. If 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 he thinks the way he's doing shit now is gonna work, it's not gonna work. It's not. It it really isn't. So I'm gonna need him to get his shit together or it's just going to be a fucking sinking ship. It really, and not even just 21, but just how he handled winners, comeback, how they, how they had a great, like they had a great debut. But it's like, what was they like the first group to win music shows their debut week? And they was winning like music shows like crazy, winning like rookie of the year, like, you know, end of year awards to come back. And it was just like, eh. It's not even the music, it was just the fact that they didn't promote them. Lehigh. Three fucking years she's been like in a fucking dungeon. You come back and again, you don't promote. Like, I don't understand why these fucking companies don't promote their artists. I don't get it. It's like you can't just release shit and just say, here you go. Because that's YG's problem. YG thinks because he's YG that he can just have an artist come out, they put it out. And fans will just go flock into it. Like, we're sick of the bullshit. Like, we're not going to keep doing that. Because you already seen what happened with Inner Circles when y'all kept releasing all them goddamn DVDs. And y'all ain't had no damn new music from Winner. They was like, no, fuck that. We ain't buying these DVDs. We want the music. And even with that, they had to pause it because they... I mean, I know they're doing a show, but this whole, oh, they're going to release the new album each month. But like, And then it's like this whole half album shit. Just release the fucking album, dude. Like, this whole half album shit, like, word. The reason why I didn't bitch about icons because the welcome back part was given to me as a gift. But I wouldn't have bought it. I would have just bought the album when it fully came out. That's why I'm not doing the same thing with Lehigh. I'm waiting for her album to come out. And when it finally comes out, I thought music was supposed to come out in May. I don't know. But... Yeah, I'm about to hit 15 minutes, so I'm about to go. I wish Minzy nothing but the best. 
And yeah, that's it. I'm running out of town, so I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.